what this means in a moment. But first, Katie Silver has a reminder now and a look back at the colourful life of O.J. Simpson. Find the defendant or Owen or of Dane Simpson not guilty of the crime of murder in violation of penal code section one. It was a defining and dividing moment of the 1990s. O.J. Simpson is acquitted of murder. But to understand why this is so important, we need some background. Orenthal James Simpson grew up in poor San Francisco before making it big as an NFL star. Over 11 years with the Buffalo Bills, he set a long list of league records on his way to the Hall of Fame. When he retired, his celebrity continued. His popularity was hailed for transcending race and class. But this all came to a crashing end in 1994, when his estranged wife, Nicole Brown, and her friend, Ron Goldman, were stabbed on the walkway to her condo. Police wanted to charge him with murder, but he didn't show up and he officially became a fugitive. What followed was a spectacular car chase with squads of police cars pursuing his white Ford Bronco down the highways of Los Angeles. If it doesn't fit, you must acquit. It was dubbed the trial of the century. After eight months, 53 million Americans tuned in to watch the not guilty verdict live. The verdict exposed deep racial divides in the United States. Black Americans thought it was the right decision, while whites and Hispanics thought otherwise. Still, he wasn't off the hook. The families of Ron Goldman and Nicole Brown filed a civil suit. The court found him liable for their debts, and he was ordered to pay the tidy sum of $33.5 million. It bankrupted him. Fast forward 13 years to 2007, and he was facing court again. This time in Las Vegas, charged with armed robbery and kidnapping for stealing sports memorabilia that he claimed belonged to him. This time, it didn't go so well. Found guilty, he was sentenced to 33 years. He so far served nine, but punters predict he could be walking free as soon as October. Katie Silver, BBC News. With me is Michael McFarland, a Queen's Counsel and California Attorney at Law. Good to have you with us. Hello, Lucy. Are we still completely fascinated by O.J. Simpson? What's going to happen today when he appears in front of this parole board? There'll be millions of people watching. There's over 40 television companies who are trying to take this signal live around the world to see what he's like at age 70. What is it about him? He represents the whole focus point between American relations of the late 20th century. He was a gilded star who rose above the racial tensions of the 60s, who then fell in the most dramatic fashion with the murder trial in the 1990s. And that murder trial, Marco, had you ever seen anything no. like it? It was the first time that a murder trial was really filmed gavel to gavel in front of the American and a worldwide audience and people were transfixed. When you put in the mix there was all the racial issues and the, the idea that he may have been fitted up by the Los right, Angeles Robert police King. force who at the time were regarded by the black community as an army of occupation in much of much of Los Angeles. I mean back Angeles. then with the legal community were you all just sitting around watching your televisions all day gripped by it? Well I was in California a lot then back in, in that year and I remember you, people would just sit all day watch it of all walks of life you know grandmothers through to lawyers. Now I think it was split between the races. I think most white people thought that he would be found guilty. Most black people thought he wouldn't and that he'd been the victim of, uh, in a sense, a criminal conspiracy against him to fit him up. So it was such a shock, a reaction, uh, when he was acquitted of that murder trial. But of course today, he may well be released on parole for offences that have got nothing directly to do with that murder case. So let's talk about today yes. when he appears before a parole board. How does it work in the US? Well, in the Nevada Board of Paroles, there's going to be four people here today who will hear... Um, they'll do it in sections. It's really a question and answer stage. It may last less than an hour. First off, O.J. Simpson will be asked, does he have anything to say? And he, he is giving his evidence via a video link from the prison he's in. The board is sitting in Carson City in Nevada, and they're going to hear that. Then they consider a list of uh, a form, an instrument, as to his risks for the future, on a, where he's graded on a score from 1 to 15, with the lowest numbers being the best. Now, in 2013, he was given parole for some offences that had already been, their time had been served, and he graded a 3. So the chances of him getting out today 
are pretty good. His age as well. We'll 70, play, yeah. yeah, that'll play a factor. What about the fact that I think his behaviour in prison has, has been pretty good, Yes, isn't it? He's, the phrase is, that if you're, people are listening to it, he hasn't been written up. If you're written up in prison in, in the States, you've committed some internal prison offence or some misbehaviour. In Britain, we'd call it he kept his nose clean inside the prison. <laughs> To be clear, though, there will be no special treatment or special no. circumstances today, no. even though this parole board know that the eyes of America are on them. Well, they've actually set this deliberately. In 2013, only two of them heard it, and it took four weeks for the, the verdict to be given. Today, they intend to give the verdict uh, today, during the course of the... or oh, shortly after the hearing. So by this evening, they... O.J. Simpson is likely to know whether he'll be released from prison. Legally for you, is there anything interesting about what is happening technically well, or is it more just the, the bigger picture and what he represents well the he was the, the, he was charged and sentenced for sentences between nine and 33 years now many of the black community and lawyers in america had said 33 years is the same number of dollar millions of dollars that he was found liable for to the goldman family in the civil action that was brought after. Actually, I think I should ask you yeah. about that. That's important to, you know, to make the difference between the fact that he was found not guilty, but yes. then liable in, in the, the civil, civil trial. Action. Yeah, the, the prosecution failed in the criminal trial because they couldn't prove beyond reasonable doubt that he'd killed his ex-wife, Nicole Brown Simpson, and Ron Goldman. Now, the Goldman family then brought a civil claim, and they proved on the balance of probabilities, more likely than not, that he had committed the murder of Ron Goldman. And the, the jury in California awarded the, the Goldman family $33.5 million, which by some form of synchronicity, when O.J., who was money, was in Los Angeles in 2007 trying to recover uh, artifacts that he'd signed and memorabilia, which he was using to make money by selling, and he was found guilty of 12 counts of kidnapping and all this lark. He was sentenced to a total, if at all, at worst of 33 million years. Now, many black lawyers in the community have said this was white America's justice system getting its revenge on O.J. for getting off in the 1995 criminal trial. It is still completely fascinating, isn't it, Michael? It is. I'm sure you'll be watching. I we will this afternoon. Will. Thanks so much for joining us.